Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we have successfully installed Laravel default authentication system as a breeze. So when you install that breeze package, you can see how much easily we are successfully complete our total um, logging authentication system. Right now, you are able to register one of the user and also you are able to logging with this user, right? Everything is ready made. And if you go to that, our locking and into this locking also, there is the forget password option. Everything is ready made, right? So how all that file is work um, behind this, I show you. If you go to again, like when you install Laravel Breeze authentication system, some of the things is happening in your project. Like first of all, you can see that is one of the requests and directory as a slash auth.php. So that is actually work for in our route into this route, it will be created one of the file as auth.php. And here that is everything. That means here there is a register, the logging, the forget password route. Okay, you can see everything is in here. So right now that is all that our one of the um, controllers. So into this controller area, they have some of the method. Also they are passing that name route as I told you before. Everything is ready made. Okay, friend. So you will get every all that our controller. That is all that our default controller is created, and this controller is created in our app HTTP controller as a auth, and that is actually our controller name. Like if you now go to our auth that means that is our app http controller you can see it's now created one of the default one of the folder as a auth and into this folder area that is our authenticated session controller the con that is one of the confirmable password controller the email verification notification new password controller everything is in here right now if you want to check all that our route you can also check it like if you go to our project and here if you write, write down as a php artisan php artisan route and then the route list so if you click as a enter now it will be show you all that your default route here you can see that is all the default route so for the logging it's actually working our auth and authenticated session controller that is one of the method as a create method that is actually work behind this and also there is a logout is already ready made in our auth authenticated session controller that is on the destroy method that is actually working for this and also for the register because i have already discussed about that things with you right you can right now able to register like that is our register so when you install that breeze that is one of the page right that means one of the view page this register view page is working from to the just simply understand all that file structure what exactly the happening behind this like that is our resources and the view you can see it's now created one of the folder as auth and into this folder area that is one of the logging page so that is our logging page that is our logging page on they have one of the form and also for the register that is our register form okay into the register form here you can see that is a name that is the email field that is a password field and that is our confirm password field so right now that is actually visible as a name email password and confirm password and if you go to that our logging page so that is a logging page and that's logging page is loaded from our view auth and that is our logging and with the logging you can see that is one of the email field and also there are one of the password field so both of these is the one of the view page and also they have some of the reset password page that is the verified email page all that your view page which is actually display in here right now there is a forget password page you can see that is one of the forget password page so that is all that view page if you want to customize anything you can customize it from to this position so literally we'll also customize it here we'll add one of the um, template so how to change it a little i will also show you that things with the live example so when you create that register when you create that register as i told you that is one of the post method you can see by default on the, all that our route list you will get it in here there is a register and with the register that is actually working in particular which position that is working into the um, auth and the register registered user controller so here that is in our auth folder that means if you go to again okay if you go to that our yeah that area that is our http controller and the auth controller and with the controller that is a new so that is one of the new one 
so this name is as a register that is a registered user controller okay that is a registered user controller if you go that is a registered user controller into the registered user controller you can see there is on the create method from here it will be created on the user and that will be stored that data as a name email and then password the name field is required that is starting of the maximum length for this field as a 255 and it will be created that is our user model with this user model it will be created as a new user with by the name email and then password will be as a hash mac password so whatever the password will be set when it will be saved in our database it will be make this password as a hash password for the reason so you can see if you go to our database it's make that one of the hash password okay so here it's successfully created and that is also another one as event event is for uh, if you send some of the email so that is one of the event you will get that event in your middleware um, not that middleware if you go to that our providers into the providers into the, that is one of the event service providers into the event service provider it will be sent email verification notification okay so that is also by default created so later you will also work in particular that area so that is one of the event service provider is working for this and then if you go to our authenticated that is a authenticated session controller so here there is also another method as a created as a auth logging and there is a store our requested authenticated session generated that means when our um, user is successfully logged then that will be returned redirect to the intent of the route service provider as a home okay the route service providers means if you go to our again provider into the provider that is also another one as a route service provider into the route service provider when user is successfully logging then that will be returned direct to our slash dashboard right so for the reasons when you successfully logged in when you logging successful like i just put that name as a user at the red gmail.com and password you demand to three four five now if you click as a locking and then it will be returned redirect to our which page it will be returned redirect to our slash dashboard page and that is the one of the slash dashboard on the view page is loaded if you want to find out that uh, view page that means our dashboard page then simply go to our view and then that is one of the page will be created you can see that is one of the dashboard blade.php is now loaded so now that is actually one of the default page is created as a dashboard and also it's display as you are logged in you can see it's not display as you are logged in so right now you are already logged in right so if you want to display that we have logging user details you can also display it like then you have to do right now i'm already logged in right i'm already logged in if you want to display it then you have to do just simply add that as an auth that is all auth, auth means that is one of the middleware as i told you before with this auth that it will be check user is logging or not right so now with this auth i want to do and to check that our user okay with this user i want to access our field name like i want to display the name i want to display our field name as a name and also that is an, another one as email so if you want to display that name simply add that name and also I want to add another one okay I want to add another one but I copy it I copy it and then I paste it that will I want to display that authenticated user which user is logging this authenticated user email okay I simply added both of these now if you click as a save all now that should be updated if you go now refresh it yeah you can see it's now successfully display as a, you are logged in as a user that is our username and also the another one as a, you are logged in our email address is visible as a user at the rate gmail.com i hope friend you get some of the idea when you install laravel breeze how all that our file structure work behind this okay so that is the pretty much simple all that process you will get all that your route in here and with this route what exactly that file what exactly that uh, controller which method is ex actually executed for run this everything is in here that is confirm password the email verification the forget password everything is in here okay everything is in here so it's now created uh, some of the default page it will be created some of the uh, controllers so all that controller related file will be saved into the auth folder okay and also 
uh, also it's that is all the providers i have already discussed about that things with you i have already migrated the database table and also into the view area it will be created one of the another folder as a auth folder and into this auth folder it will be created all that our pages okay that is a logging page register page reset password page verified email page all that view page you will get in here and then into the route that there is a to one of the requested directory auth php so you will get everything in here okay great so now friend in our next video i want to do first of all i want to complete our forget password option like if you now go to that logout so into this logout there is also another page as a forget password so i want to do i want to get the forget password details by through the email so how can done this email password option in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video